A local hyperbaric center has won two national awards. Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Lukitas is live at Portneuf Medical Center. And uh, Caitlin, th this isn't the first time the PMC has received honors like this. Oh, actually, no. In fact, Portneuf is now one of the only hospitals in the nation to have won this award three years in a row. Now, with that said, I decided I had to go check it out for myself. That's just one of the Portneuf Medical Center's hyperbaric chambers, and the list of what it can heal goes on. Osteomyelitis. And on. Problematic wounds. Director of the Wound Center and hyperbaric program Dr. Julio Vasquez says this medicine works on patients where antibiotics don't. So when the patient goes into the chamber, the concentration or the amount of oxygen in, in the blood goes up, and in that way you're able to deliver more, more oxygen to the tissues in the body. I contracted a flesh-eating bacteria called Pasteurella. Today, former hyperbaric patient Mike Van Brunt is celebrating one year since he's been out of the chamber after contracting a common virus in his foot. It's prevalent. Uh, you get a puncture, you take care of it now, even just a small one. And from the time I figure that I got the puncture to six hours later, I was in excruciating pain. Buddy says once the oxygen starts flowing, you suddenly feel as if you're flying an airplane or even scuba diving. Something like scuba diving because this is, uh, if I'm not wrong, it was about two and a half times the pressure of the, where we're standing right now. Which makes that flesh-eating virus probably a little more bearable. I just took a nap. <laughs> In fact, some local hyperbaric centers, not related to Portneuf at all, are working on adding to that list of what this medicine can help treat. And Vasquez says, in the works right now, traumatic brain injuries. Reporting live in Pocatello, I'm Caitlin Lukitas. Vasquez says that they're seeing an influx of patients every year. This year, they're up around 3,000.